At least 13 people have been killed after Iranian missile and drone strikes hit the Kurdish region of neighboring Iraq. Iran's Revolutionary Guard said on Wednesday that the attacks were aimed at the Iranian uh, Kurdish opposition bases there. Now, according to Iraqi Kurdish forces, 10 targets in the town of Koya were struck by drones, while a regional U.S. Army Central Command said it downed one of the drones as it posed a threat to U.S. personnel. The attack comes as Iranian authorities have blamed Iranian Kurdish dissidents for allegedly stoking Iran's ongoing protests. The protests over the death in police custody of Iranian Kurdish woman Masa Amani have now lasted 11 days. Recent video from Chinese state media shows a Chinese Navy J-15 fighter jet flying over a U.S. Burke-class destroyer. This is the first time China has released a video of its fighter jet flying over a U.S. warship. But the video of J-15 fighter training shows it flew over a warship. Judging by the warship's mast, funnels, missile vertical launch system and helicopter hangar, it is likely to be an American Arleigh Burke 2A class destroyer, possibly a relatively new 2A variant. Some people analyzed that the J-15 fighter jet was flying at an altitude of about 600 meters, almost directly above the U.S. destroyer. What's even more interesting is that the J-15 pilot was wearing an old-fashioned flight helmet, so the incident likely occurred before 2018. In December 2016, China's first aircraft carrier, the Liaoning, entered the Western Pacific for the first time for open sea training. And in October 2021, Western media reported that the J-15 flew over a Japanese helicopter carrier. It is not uncommon for fighter jets to fly over each other during naval encounters at sea, but in the past, Chinese officials have rarely disclosed such incidents, so the release of the video of the J-15 flying over a U.S. destroyer could represent a desire by the Chinese government and military to send a tough message. This is a very worrying sign at a time when Sino-U.S. relations are deteriorating. Now, as just mentioned, a day ahead of U.S. Vice President's visit to Seoul, North Korea on Wednesday evening fired two short-range ballistic missiles toward waters of South Korea's east coast just three days after it had fired a similar type of missile. Wednesday's action appears to have been carried out in protests against Seoul and Washington joint drills currently taking place in the area. Our defense correspondent Pei Eun-ji with the latest. At about 6 p.m. on Wednesday, North Korea fired two short-range ballistic missiles toward the East Sea, where a combined maritime exercise between South Korea and the U.S. is currently taking place. The Joint Chiefs of Staff said Wednesday that the two missiles flew around 360 kilometers at an altitude of some 30 kilometers, at about six times the speed of sound. It said they were both launched from the Sunan district of Pyongyang. Although further analysis is needed, the military reportedly assessed them to be KN-23 missiles, modeled after Russia's Iskander missile. That's similar to the type of missile fired by the North three days ago. The military also said such action strengthens the deterrence and readiness of the South Korea-U.S. alliance, and that it only deepens North Korea's isolation from the international community. The presidential office also said in a separate statement that South Korea's National Security Council held an emergency meeting and strongly condemned the test, while vowing to maintain a strong combined defense readiness with the U.S. The latest missiles were fired toward waters where South Korean and U.S. forces have been holding a combined drill since Monday, involving an American nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, the USS Ronald Reagan. This most recent action by the North is seen as an apparent protest against the exercises. In response, the White House press secretary said in a press briefing that the missile launches are in violation of multiple UN Security Council resolutions and that they pose a threat to North Korea's neighbors and the international community. An official from the Japanese Defense Ministry also strongly condemned the launch and said it has lodged a protest against the actions through its embassy in Beijing. We cannot tolerate the fact that North Korea is launching a series of missiles when Ukraine is being invaded. It violates the Security Council resolution and we strongly condemn their actions. Wednesday's missile launches also come as South Korean and U.S. officials have said the regime has completed all necessary preparations for its first nuclear test in five years. Pei Eun-ji, Arirang News.